guys, today is January 5th, 2023. I'm at Family Thrift Center. This one is located in Houston, Texas. Today, I decided to get up early and see what all they have at this resale shop. I predominantly look for designer handbags or designer wallets and accessories. So, most people, they get there super duper early, but I find that that is not necessary. I'm normally like the last person in line. I get there around 6.55, about five minutes before it opens. As you can see, this lady was way ahead of me and her shopping cart is full, but she does not have designers. So I'm just specifically looking for designer handbags. There's a Rebecca Minkoff, that brown one, the tan one. So I grabbed that. Let's see what else I'm gonna find. Right there is a fossil. I grabbed that burgundy one. So guys, at this point, my hands were getting kind of heavy with all the handbags I was carrying. My hands are getting heavy. Oh my God, we all missed the coach. So guys, all these handbags are $2.25 each. And I'm specifically looking for items that I can make anywhere from $30 on up. This is five minutes later. Putting everything on the phone. That's my haul in five minutes. Now let me see what else damage I can do. So somebody left these rejected shoes behind. I see this Carl Lagerfeld. Here's the actual eBay listing. Somebody have these exact same shoes on eBay for $79.99. And here, they're only $2.25. They do fit. Can we do this one? Yes. Air Max. So I was distracted because I saw a Versace belt and I had to go check it out. It just jumped out at me. This one's Versace and this little bin's um, Versace guys. So guys, I'm speeding this little section up. I'm going through the handbags and I'm being very selective on what I purchase today because I have like a lot of things that needs like work. So I'm really, I'm being really specific on what I buy because I want to have less projects. Some of the bags that I bought today will require minor repairs, which I will show you later. So I just spotted this Bagley Mishka handbag. It's so on um, Poshmark, very... they sold it for $45. Oh, I, think about it. I decided to not get it because it was just a little bit too dirty. I'm actually gonna put this back because it's just too dang dirty. Can't really see it, but it's dirty. So I'm getting ready to put back half the items in my cart. They're all designers. They need repairs and I know the perfect person who is gonna want these handbags? They just messed up. Uh -huh. I don't think you'll like them. Why do you know why? Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're not good. Okay. I just thought it was cute for Valentine's, yeah. but it's not. You know, Valentine's. I could put it up. You like fossil, no? Boss. Now I'm going in line. <laughs> so you guys, y'all just look for jackets? Uh, I'll look for everything. Yeah. Anything vintage. There's two jackets. Okay, I put you on my channel. <laughs> Yeah, sure. It's just YouTube. So what, just y'all look for vintage stuff? Yeah, we tried. Y'all do like Depop or what? What do y'all, what site? Just like recreation. Y'all like to wear them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't sell them? Or just give it up as a gift. We don't really like resell. Yeah, we don't. Man, y'all boring. I can't use y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> On to you. I don't think I want this. Thank you. I see it. I like it. I want it. So it's Thursday and today everything is 225. 
1949. 1949? Yes. Okay. Does that hurt? Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Okay. <laughs> they probably say, hurry up behind me, the people behind me. Okay. Okay, let's see what time it is. I was probably in there, what, I don't know, 45 minutes maybe? Oh, actually almost an hour. Okay guys, so I'm done shopping, now I'm heading to another resale shop. This thing is blurry. Okay, that's better. And at this resale shop, everything was $2.25. Today is the 5th. I just checked out, ready to head to another one. Okay, so guys, I made it to the other resale shop. So these not the best part of town. This one. This is all I found there. Coach, the guest. This right here is super, super dirty. I'm going to try to wash it in hot water. See what happens. Okay, so here's my haul from that retail shop. I bought four items. I spent $10.80. And here's my items that I picked out. I found this Marc Jacob crossbody. I'm going to have to fix the closure. It just needs like a little magnet. It's an easy fix. I believe these sell for like $400, $425 brand new. I found this Guess Kizzy wallet. It's in excellent shape. You attach it to a tote bag. This is a big one. This is a big coach. It's a good shopper. It's a good shopper bag, tote bag, diaper bag, travel bag, overnight bag, whatever you want to use it for. I just need to clean it. I need to put in the washing machine since it's fabric. I can remove the shoulder strap. I've washed coach. I've washed coach bags before in the washer and they actually turn out fine because most of the times they are pre-treated. Now, if it don't come clean, I'm going to go ahead and dye this a darker color. Now, once I repair her, here's what I can make for her online. Now I'm going to show you some of the handbags I bought from the first location where I paid a little bit over $19. And I'm going to show you some of the minor repairs that was needed. Okay guys, I got this Michael Kors bag all nicely stuffed. I feel like it needs something extra, so I'm going to go ahead and add a charm to it. Guys, right, here are my purse charms. This one right here is all... This is everything Michael Kors. Let's just go ahead and open this. I got a bag full of charms. Full of charms. I might actually need this. Might need that Michael Kors. No, that's black. This one's definitely, this one will work. This is a silver one. So. Lots of, lots of charms in here. Okay, so let's open up this bag. As you can see, guys, I have tons of Michael Kors charms. So, just to give this bag a little something extra, we're going to go ahead and add a charm to it. Does this match? I don't think that match. I think it's just too gray. So...
these are all authentic. These are these are from Michael Kors, actual Michael Kors handbags that I donate. The ones I don't need, I usually take off the little charms. I donate, or if it's really in bad shape, then I'll throw it away and just keep the parts for reasons like this, just to um, make the bag itself look a whole lot better. So guys, let's go ahead and which one I said I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one. This one right here, there's like a little clip. Clip this. Got it. Can I see? It makes a big difference. It looks way better. That's going to bump up the price when selling. If I wanted to, guys, if I wanted to sell these charms by themselves, I probably actually would make more. Guys, so here's our Michael Kors handbag. I added the fob to it. I added this little charm. And then I cleaned the edges. The edges was kind of dirty, so I went ahead and polished that. And here's what I will make on this Michael Kors satchel. Okay, guys, then we have this coach. It was missing the shoulder strap. So I went ahead and I added a strap. And on the zipper pull, it should have a leather zipper pull, just all leather, but that either broke off, fell off. So I have to put, you can still open it with this ring. You can still open it with this ring, but I just wanted to like have something else more substantial on there. So I was going through my charms, my coach charms, and the two candidates, I'm thinking either this one. So guys, it's between these two. See, this is a coach. See, there's this coach right there. So I can use that as a zipper pull. Actual zipper pull as the zipper pull. I'm leaning towards this one. Only because I might want to keep the other one for myself. Okay, so um, I'm leaning towards this one. So yeah, let me just go ahead and put this on there. So I could add the little charm. the little. Ha I could add the little hang tag as a zipper pull. I just added this little ring. So this little ring right here, it's the only one that had like a little opening. I had to like squeeze it back together to attach. I used that little loop to attach the zipper pull to the original hardware. I didn't want to like take that one off. I wanted to keep everything still there in case the person wanted to add something to the original loop. So that's a quick fix. Let's give this a test. Yeah, it works like a charm. Just like the charm that it is, it works perfectly. Problem solved. Guys, we all miss this in the thrift store. So luckily, I actually turned back around. I was getting a shopping cart and I spotted it. So yeah, this coach, this is a vintage coach. And here's what I can make for it online. I bought this fossil crossbody handbag and as you can see it did not come with the key charm. I know the ladies they love to have their bags like easy, easily. They like to have their handbags easily recognizable by others. Anyway so here's a good example of an ugly bag that I bought for probably like a dollar. Nobody wanted it but I saw past that I wasn't trying to buy the bag itself. What I wanted was the charm i actually once again i can make a lot of money on the charm by itself but that sometimes that's not what it's all about it's just um for me it's about completing the bag for the customer so we're just going to go ahead and take this off since the hardware is gold or brass now the hardware is brass we also have to go with a brass key fob i don't have I don't have the um, matching leather. I don't have anything burgundy or pink. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on either with a coach. You know those little, those little metals that's on the coach. If I can find this in brass, I'll go ahead and put that, attach it to this and put this on the handbag. And that's just going to complete the look. There you go, guys.
guys we just completed that look so this bag was only two dollars i added the charm and guys here's what i'm gonna make for it online I purchased this Rebecca Minkoff tote bag for only $2.25. So it's a Rebecca Minkoff. So inside you have like a little wallet on a string. It's attached. You can remove it if you choose. So it's like getting two in one. So for that tote bag, I can make anywhere from $50 on up. Next up, I purchased this Kate Spade Pebble Letter tote bag for only $2.25. And guys, here's a good idea of what I can make for it online once I place it on eBay. So I found another Kate Spade tote bag. This one is black and it's like a metallic looking silver. So pretty. This is such a pretty color on this Kate Spade tote bag. And here's what I'll make for it online. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Next week, I'm actually going to show Target Black History Month, a video from stuff that we have at Target for Black History.